The approval of Nusinersen, or also known by its brand name Spinraza, is a breakthrough for spinal muscular atrophy because it's the first drug ever approved for this disease. Spinal muscular atrophy, or SMA for short, is the leading genetic cause of death in infants. Traditional drugs treat the symptoms of a disease, but Spinraza is unique because it treats the underlying genetic defect, which makes it particularly effective. In clinical trials, patients treated with Spinraza experience life-changing outcomes. We're extremely excited that Nusinersen has been approved. This is something that we were hoping for um, ever from the beginning when we started developing this therapeutic, and so we're extremely pleased and proud and, and uh, looking forward to the impact that it can have. Uh, Nusinersen and drugs like it will have the greatest impact if they're um, administered early, uh, preferably before the onset of symptoms. But even afterwards, they can at a minimum stabilize the disease so that there isn't a continued progression of the disease. I think with Spinraza being approved, um, we could definitely see huge improvements between, um, for each of our boys actually. This new treatment for SMA, Spinraza, is a game changer for Jojo. He's going to be able to live life more independently. He perhaps can be able to transfer independently to his wheelchair, take a shower independently, and maybe be able to stand. It's definitely going to improve his respiratory status, and for that I'm very excited. A treatment like Spinraza could be extremely beneficial for someone like Dominic in that he would be able to go through his entire school day without fatiguing, uh, or during PT uh, not experiencing um, tiredness so quickly and easily. Uh, this treatment could be big in that he would be able to maintain his strength throughout the entire day. Also, their respiratory status can be improved as well. Um, that's something that's very common for SMA kids. A lot of kids with SMA die, die from the common cold. So to know that their respiratory status is going to be improved and that they no longer will um, not be able to get rid of things that are in their lungs is huge. So MDA has had a pivotal role in a lot of the very early stuff. I want to emphasize the place where the money makes the most difference is before you have a development firmly in mind. It's in the basic research. It's the understanding of how these things work. MDA has funded a lot of the very early work that led to the ideas and drugs that the companies could then take off and, and, and work with in a more focused and, and, uh, and financially remunerative way. The approval of Spinraza for spinal muscular atrophy and the recent accelerated approval of Exondus 51 for Duchenne muscular dystrophy point to the success of MDA's grant program in funding innovative science that impacts people's lives. These approvals provide inspiration and motivation to other biotechs and pharmaceutical companies to commit to drug development for neuromuscular diseases. This can only lead to treatments and cures for all the other diseases under MDA's umbrella.